my patient. Mm. Okay, then I'll check my patient CVP line, see whether that's all. Assess the need first. Assess the need first, then I'll talk to my patient, then I'll check the CVP line. Mm. Then I'll confirm his risk tag identity. Okay, I risk tag uh, against my doctor's order. Then, uh, Mr. Ray, we are going to monitor your CVP blood uh, level. Okay, this one won't cause any pain. So just complete this. Uh, then after that, I wash my hand and start to prepare my requisite. So this is my requisite. First, we have the water manometer with the tubing. <laughs> Second, we have IV line. line. And third, we have sodium chloride 0.9%. How many gig are this one? And we have mm -hmm. a kidney dish for this procedure. And not forget this the towel. Okay. Hmm? So once... Huh? Don't see, don't see. Let go. So once everything is done, you can ah you must check you must check the packaging and everything now so they are all of us so let's start by me so we spike mm -hmm. once we spike I'll take out my long meter and I'll make sure this is not coiled up mm -hmm. okay, this is a big coil okay. then I will connect it like this Okay, now the next one is the tubing. Is the tubing from the manometer. Mm. So the tubing from the manometer, mm. I have to use this, this end, this mm. one, mm. to connect. Correct, Correct. Ah, okay. To connect. And your hand, lah. Okay. okay. Ah. This like that. Okay. So once I'm done, I'll put this soft pack up. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I would anchor this roughly at the roughly at the fibro static axis. Mm. Possible is nothing. <laughs> I cannot handling okay. dangling, ah, baby. Yes, very good. Mm. The IV has to be left in the kidney dish. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to prime my set. First thing, how I'm going to prime will be to the manometer. Mm. How is it to manometer? Okay, so let me turn this on a bit. Uh, how is this going to be? Okay. So this, this is the IV, so I'm going to, no, no, this is from the back, so mm. it's going to apply like this, like this, okay, mm -hmm. and we're going to release the clamp, until it reaches 15 to 20, okay, then I will turn this one, here. Okay, mm -hmm. so once I finish priming, I'll clamp and this is done. Oops. We do an alcohol and now I'll bring it to the patient. Okay. okay. So now let's say I'm the patient. So I'll tell Mr. whatsoever. I'm CVP, gonna, uh, <laughs> not the yeah. <laughs> I go, I go and connect it to you. So I identify the port. Which port? Which is the distal port. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will connect to his distal port. Okay, I'll first swap. If I go so I first swap mm -hmm. it, then I'll connect it to the distal port. Remember, unclaim, claim. Uh, I won't run it yet. So what I do now is, I would find for his fable static axis, which is the port in the quarter space, mid axillary right, and I'll mark with the micro port. Mm. So after that, I'll take my carpenter ruler mm -hmm. and measure from the zero or the black dot mm -hmm. to his phlebostatic exists mm -hmm. and make sure the level is in the center. Yeah, okay. So once it's in the center, I can start Running. to run the cell line. So after I run the cell line, okay, I will wash my hand. Okay. I mean, I'll clear, clear everything. I'll clear the patient, raise up my... Uh, no, don't raise up my On the fan, off the light, you know, on my environmental checks, mm -hmm. put a carpet beside the patient. And I'll start to wash my hand and clear my records. So after I clear, I need to document. So I'll document um, patient's vital signs. Uh, take ABG for patient. Mm -hmm. And 
A B G. No need. Yeah. A B G. And sleep. Eh? A B G lah. Okay. A B G lah. Yeah. Eh, what do you need to check for C V P ah? After that, documentation is what ah? C V P reading. Date time. That's all. Ah, uh, eh, date time C V P reading lah. Okay, date time C V P reading lah. Okay. Dana. Okay, and before any abnormalities. Okay. Start.